he decided to switch to week five. Huh? Number nine, following criteria are some used to select and sign project manager. For the item listed, explain why the criterion may be used and why it may actually result in the assignment of the wrong project manager. So these are the criteria uh, randomly put and then you uh, you explain whether this one will why the criteria may be used, why it can actually result the assignment, and why it is yeah is a correct criteria uh, is a suitable not not right or wrong but is a suitable criterion why uh, is a, a unsuitable criteria why. The first one, maturity. Does it a good criteria to look at when you choose project manager? Okay, why? Um, of course, of course, it's not. Um, it's not an indication that uh, the older you have, you have a strong. Okay, but um, you can use as your. So maturity, yes, even, but um, you work for 20 years as a cashier. Will it help you in your production? No. Okay, so yes, it will build experience, but it might not be suitable. Huh? Okay, so the first one, age not always an indicator of a strong experience, uh, because now, especially now today, we are exposed to so many information available online. So um, you don't even need to have a uh, 20 years of chef experience to cook. Correct amount of food or ingredient, then the outcome as good as okay. Uh, need to be careful. Only uh, yes, if your answer is that uh, age is a good criteria, then it might be half, half correct. Half correct also, but not. In reality. Not right also, and uh, not. Not all right, also means another fifty percent will tell you that uh, screen here, Okay, another one. Hard nose tactic. Yeah, a good criteria for project manager. Someone who. But it's recorded, so I cannot say. So, uh, uh, from country, from country, from 
So you know that the way you can take the picture is going to be It's a matter. I have to do it for me. I have to do it for me. One question is, yes, you must wait for me. Right, you must wait for like what your friend told you. Okay. Because now we are more educated, more people. But more uh, those uh, uh, again are uh, some countries you reasoning with them doesn't work you have to you have to tune up your voice a little bit loud same 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 wording same same sentence you need to tune up a little bit higher and then they will listen it worked like that i don't know why but I I learned that technique also from my boss. Because my boss take me to a different places to work. So I also confused the first day I saw my boss. We act differently in Malaysia compared to, for example, China. We act differently. Uh, uh, my boss uh, in, in, in Malaysia, he just called the staff in, lock the door and then uh, talk. Uh, within the office. Then uh, one scenario I saw my boss in China. So my boss brought me there. So uh, the way you communicate, you will see the whole office, everyone is shouting. Everyone is shouting. Yeah. Uh, so um, uh, in India, yeah, worse, even worse, he can fire you if, on the spot. Can fire on the spot, they find a new guy to do your job. Okay, uh, it's different, uh, different. Malaysia, you cannot do that. Uh, you do that, you cannot show you court case and so on. <laughs> okay, uh, so another one, ability and so on. This one, you, you think, uh, think, and then you see, try to elaborate. Okay, go through. Okay, number 10. What is the definition of the stakeholder? This one is a textbook answer. So this one also available in the PowerPoint slides. So this one, stakeholders, is any person, organization directly involved. This one, I think, also appeared in the chapter three question. The three or chapter two, I forget already. Same, uh, same question. Okay, stakeholders is any person, organization directly involved that able to impact the project positively or negatively. Okay, so this one appeared in the chapter three or chapter two, I forget. There's one question, same one. Okay. Okay. 11, 11 is a um, open-ended question also. So many project manager experience situation in which some team members become difficult to manage or create conflicts. So you have a conflict now that may uh, delay the projects or jeopardize a project means totally cancelled or stop the projects. Uh, this situation include, but not limited to, uh, all these reasons. What action could be taken by the project manager to prevent or solve this issue? There are many answers to this question. So this is again open-ended. Same scenario as the one that we discussed previously. Okay, so, um, so you, for example, non-acceptance to rules, policy and procedure, what do you do? What do you do? Because if you do not follow this one, you actually is uh, you are actually not meeting your customer scope and requirement already. So what do you do if you have some some team member that not following the rules and policy and procedure? What do you do? Okay, punish is one of the way. Yeah, uh, but you don't use punish word in your answer. 
you use a better word, for example, having having penalty. You use the word penalty. Okay. And so on, huh? All this lah. Huh? So uh this one, the answer will be like the earlier question number, the previous answer that set expectation, have clear roles and responsibility and so on. Uh, you keep repeating the same keyword there. Okay. Uh, communication, expectation and all this. This you keep repeating for the answer and then you, you look at the question, then you uh, specific uh, certain things and you explain accordingly. You just adjust accordingly to the situation. Okay. Uh, huh? Okay, 12. Why is it important for the project manager to prepare and distribute project organization chart to the project team and other stakeholders? Three reasons. So this question asks you the importance of or what is the definition of Organization chart. What is organization chart tell you or represent? What is organization chart tell you? What, what do you understand about organization chart? When the word organization chart come out, what, what does it mean? Mm -hmm. Authority, that one. Another one. Authority, reporting your vertical, horizontal. One is authority, another one is what? If you are this person somewhere here, what? Huh? Yes, authority and responsibility. Okay, authority and responsibility. Yeah, so relationship between the team member, roles and responsibilities. Relationship here is the authority. It's the authority between the things. Either you report vertically or horizontally. Uh, roles and responsibility is where you are, your position. Right? So assist overall communication process. So if you have a common uh, organization chart, is you know who to speak with. So when you when you do your internship, the first thing you look at is organization chart. Where where are you, right? Uh, look at the your 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 industrial supervisor. Where is your industrial supervisor? Who did he report to, and so on. Okay. So that's why uh, when you do internship, you under a certain operator you under certain uh, member teams teams member within the company um, some places you, you have don't access but your, if your internship is under a general manager or under a certain project manager level you actually you found that actually you can go almost everywhere in the company and you can touch things because you're under a certain people okay uh, so the team what is the object what is the project manager primary function? This one still asks back the understanding in a project manager. This word, integrate. Project manager, your top job is integration. You to do integration. Huh? You to integrate. So how, how do I write? Okay, it's the integration of project activities. If your answer is have a good relationship with functional manager, wrong. Why? Why is wrong? Good relationship doesn't explain about the projects. It's just the the method that you use to to make sure the project runs smoothly without any conflicts. Okay, your jobs is do integration or integrate between company component and processes. Okay, uh, integration, uh, integration is the primary function. And then if you look back in chapter two or chapter three, 
uh, question. There's one question asked you about secondary role of a project manager. Okay, go and see that. Okay, what is the primary role of a, a project manager? Okay. Um, try to look back the the way, especially when it comes to business management question, they they like to play with the wording. For example, uh, if you see function, primary function, then you link primary function with integration. If you see the word primary role, then there's a loss of more small things. Yeah. So uh, yes, to our to us engineer engineer, it looks same, but uh, no choice is a uh, word word things. Uh, so we have to be careful on here. Okay. So look at if you look at function, then again integration. Look at roles, then you can list some some four or five jobs there. Okay. So 14 also challenges. So a challenge is happening here uh, is to select the right, pro right people for the project team and use appropriate method skill to get them on the projects. This means managing variety of personnel. Review each type of person that may be part of the project team and match characteristic of uh, that type. So it means you are now doing the match, uh, match, matching, team matching. Huh? So it's a long, long uh, table there. Okay, so you have a look. Your personality type, aggressor, da, 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 until devil advocates. You have uh, 14 personal types. Okay, then you have a characteristic phrase that you use. You try to match A to N. And then if this kind of uh, member you desire, desire or not means, for example, I go to the last one now. Uh, devil advocates. The answer is no. You don't want a devil. Uh, devil in your team. Uh. Okay. Uh, so the first one, aggressor. Uh, aggressor is no. But which one? The character characteristic is what? Aggressor. Okay, let me put this in perspective. Are we saying that? Uh, sorry, sorry. K is always try to take over. What about dominator? The K. Uh, so you try to think, ah, uh, or you think which one, ah? Uh? Uh, D, ah, uh, aggressor will be D, ah. Uh. You aggressor will criticize everyone. Uh, Deflate status and ego of others uh, team members. Aggressor will be that. So it's not desired team member. Okay, and okay, the one that K does now is dominator. K does now always try to take over is dominator. So is dominator desired or not? No, uh, you, you actually you are creating conflicts there. Okay, you have. You are the project manager, you have to uh, make sure is to not have any conflicts. Okay. Uh, initiator. E, uh, initiator is E. Uh, initiate. Uh, so let's try this. Uh, let's try this. So do you want these this people come into your team? Yes. Uh. Okay. Topic jumper. This one is like, I try to jump topic on. Uh. Okay. Jump topic is. Topic jumper. I okay. Answer is A. Ah, uh. cannot focus on ah. Uh. Topic jumper always switch pro switch. You discuss about A, it tell you B. Then when you talk about B, it tell tell you A. Okay. Topic jumper also no ah. Uh. Means you you will not be focused. You not focus ah. Uh. Information seeker. Information seeker M. Okay, M. Yes, lah. Huh? Because you need input. Ma. Encourager. E. 
there's a chance in my work. The chance is something linked with other things. He is a G, uh? G uh? encourager. Uh, you encourage someone. You acknowledge someone. Okay. So yes, lah, uh, this kind of person you want. Withdrawal. Yes, J. Of course, we don't want this one. Okay. Withdrawal, J. I'm afraid. This and that. Okay, clarifier. Clarifier. We try to make things clear. Which one? L? Ah, yeah. Are we saying that? Okay, are we saying that? Clarify. Huh? Yes, huh? this one is yes. Huh? Okay. Number nine, recognition sticker. Recognition sticker. Recognition sticker is C. Yeah. C yeah. Like to uh, like to uh, boost, like to hear himself talk. <laughs> okay, so no uh. Information giver. L. L. So it give a lot of information. Literature say this and that. Of course, yes. We, we like to have more information. Blocker. F. Do we have we want blocker? No. Huh? Harmonizer. Harmonizer. Peace one. You want peace, peace, peace. Harmonizer. Which one is harmonizer? Page, huh? Want to everyone agree one? Yes, huh? You want to have peace in your head. Consensus seeker. Consensus seeker and Okay. okay. Consensus means uh, do everyone agree? Okay, so this one yes lah. Okay, because we don't want conflict lah. Okay, the last one devil we don't want is the last one B ah. Huh? So find fault one, be motivating ah uh, no one. Okay, okay. Uh, fifteen decision criteria you selected team this one. Uh, this one is same like the previous question. So, uh, all these are force, availability, experience, skill. No need to list all, but uh, decision criteria when you want to select your team member, they are experience, ability, knowledge, skill. Okay. Sometimes cost also, if you did a, it's too expensive, you not, not, cannot afford. Okay. One of the major difficulties associated with the establish and managing a virtual team. Virtual team means you you uh, have meetings with overseas uh, people and always talk on the computer. What is the what is the challenges? When you have a uh, virtual teams. What's the challenges? You're going to face this problem if you work in an international company. What problem? Okay, communication, what else? Let's say you, okay. huh? language, okay, what else? Yeah, this one, uh, more on a virtual, uh, virtual thing means um, it can be, you try to imagine, uh, Malaysia, Malaysia, but Malaysia, Sabah, something like that. You, you, you stay in HQ, for example, you work in Petrona, you work in Chukutchadaya, but you always communicate virtually with a uh, team in Sabah. For example, your team is, you're working on the hydrogen gas plant there, or there's an algae uh, project there. So you always work virtually. What is the difficulties that you face? Social, uh, connect. Connection, uh, internet connection, that is more on technology challenges. Um, Malaysia, Malaysia, man. how how oh, can they? Uh, 
here do not say international. Uh, here you just say virtual team means you work on virtual. What is the difficulties? Um, uh, what makes it hard difficult? Uh, what what makes it difficult to elaborate on that? What be specific? What what? Okay. They, you don't understand what, what you say. Sometimes they cannot imagine 3D things. Like that. Okay. And uh, you'll be, have trouble when you communicate with uh, finance people with engineering drawing. And they will, they will lost. Uh, they will lost. So this one, a few. Uh, so when you have virtual, then you have a uh, few actual face to face meeting. You actually don't, don't spend time looking at the expression. Uh, what is the what happening on that day? Uh, so uh, this one it may be spread very large area. So uh, availability of technologies, communication, for example, uh, internet network, this, um, and maybe you need time to resolve for the conflict because you don't see the actual actual uh, situation. Maybe the staff cut their hands that day, but during the Meeting, you only see the face. You don't see anything you know, uh, because of the process. Of the so if face to face you can see, hey, what happened to your hand? Then the people feel or you can. Then they feel sense of belonging. Okay. I mean, uh, this kind of small small act, uh, people will appreciate. Them. Okay. Uh, cultural difference, like you say, time zone also sometimes yeah, because it will spread. Course. Language, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Language. Uh, even Malaysia, also, we have language problem. Kelantan uh, people, when they speak Malay, and uh, Western Malaysia, they speak Malay. Sabah, they speak Malay, also. Okay, okay uh, 17. Uh, I find involvement. What are the typical factors that drive uh, free assignment decision? What challenges uh, encounter when managing a free assigned team? Free assigned teams is a free assigned team is a, is a team that already determined. Okay. Okay. So factor that drive free uh, assignment. Okay, factor that um, your your sponsor will decide the team for you. Okay, just go and so factor I just give you lah because this one is not uh, on the lecture, so just give you. So factor that drive free assignment is that uh, because of uh, competitive proposal, you straight away when you deal with customers, you promise first, then only you do. Okay, uh, so because you, it's competitive you want to get project. Uh, so you just promise first of all, then you see the deal, then only you backdoor, you find five people. Are. Okay. So specific resources identified uh, in the competitive proposal. Uh, availability of a uh, individual and personal preference of the sponsor. Okay. Because sponsor is the one who can say uh, what 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 the sponsor wants to do. Okay, difficulties. I'll say difficulties here is uh, maybe the work active is different, personality is different, um, and then the responsibility might might not same as what you input. Okay, the because you are the project manager for the pre uh, pre assigned team, maybe the assignment agreed between the sponsor and you is different. So you need to communicate, but this is do not ask you how to communicate, how to solve. It ask you the difficulties you solve, uh, you face. Work ethic, personality, um, the the job responsibility might be different. Um, man management style also will be different. 
because maybe the team that decided by the sponsor, they were so used to uh, another project manager, then you are assigned to replace the previous one. So you have these uh, management managers. Um, so this one is the previous one. I'll just elaborate some situation where the previous one, why you, why, why you are being assigned to that team because maybe the previous manager do something wrong, uh, then they fired the project manager, then you go and take over the team. So maybe there's a negative relationship previously. So you need to, yeah, clean the, clean the, that thing. Okay, I think. So this one, um, Harold Sneezer, I think in, in my slide also have. Uh, 10 major skill requirement for projects and program managers. So this one, I give you the answer. Huh? The 10, 10 major skills. Team building, leadership, conflict resolution, technical expertise, planning, organization, in entrepreneurship, and mean. Uh, 9 and 10 is, to me, is extra. Huh? Ability to gain management support, resources, allocation skills. It's more on the planning skill. So um, try to uh, remember five of these. Yeah, try to remember five of these. Huh? Five is enough. Okay. Five is enough, but you can copy all answer. Five, huh? Okay, now your task we we change the read five. Huh? Read three, hello. Next one you find your assignment. Okay, next question. I think I think it's also pick and drop. It asks you to match conflict management solution. So you have withdraw, avoiding. What do you do? This is a match that made with appropriate definition. Um, okay. So if you see the word avoiding, withdraw, it is E. Yeah? You retreat from potential conflict. You retreat from conflict. You stay away from conflict. Okay? Retreat from conflict. Uh, moving or accommodating. This one is B. You have a, a agreement. A agreement. Compromise. B. Uh, compromise. You give and take, give and take, sacrifice, okay. forcing, forcing. Okay, you want answer, huh? uh, win or lose. Collaborating means teamwork. Collaborating is different. Collaborating, collaboration. Uh, in our incorporate incorporate also single uh, uh, operation okay. confronting or problem solving yeah okay 20 uh, typical interface and that encounter during project planning execution Okay, so this one, I'll uh, just give you an answer. Huh? So what are the interface? Interface is the, uh, uh, you can say it's the stages you go through, uh, or, or things that they, they need to handle. 
project organization, external technical, customers management interface. This one also not inside my slides. But, we ex uh, but if you take project management, all the term, uh, we expect you to know. Okay. What are the major factors that must be considered when planning for project resources? Okay, so this one is still back to the planning and uh, project success. So still you see time, cost, resources, and so on. Huh? Time, money, time, money, facilities, manpower, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you elaborate now. Huh? Time will always the answer huh? when you talk about resources, talent, manpower, always the one, money, then facilities, equipment, this one you elaborate. This one on the resources. Okay. Okay, I think the last no, last two. Occasionally, project manager must deal with incompetent uh, team. What step may be taken to effectively man manage this kind of situation? So, these are the steps, but also open ended. These are the things that uh, these are the things that you can do, but not the only answer. Not the only answer. You want fastest way if you are the one who uh, no patient one. Straight away remove the android. If you're no patient one, uh, then you are, maybe on your hand you are you are you are too many projects already and you are quite established of your leadership style. Uh, and you gain uh, trust from the sponsor uh, and the project team. So you can make decision whether you need that member or not. Okay, but you you talk nicely, communicate nicely. Uh, when you remove employee or remove team member, don't announce it in public. Do it in the office or just uh, communicate uh, with the functional manager. Say, yeah, I don't need this time. Okay? Don't, don't put his name here. Okay? Uh, you don't directly tell the member, I don't want you. Don't tell them. Okay? Don't do that. Okay? So um, you clearly define the issues um then you give uh, acknowledgement give credit appreciate uh, contribution um then you maybe you're the one who give chances so you take corrective action or you re uh, assign the employees okay, to uh, less critical activities if uh, you cannot avoid one then you just be assigned to other activities huh? Inside project have other activities. So maybe his talent is not there. His talent is not suitable for that particular item. So you just switch, uh, switch to other things. So the three, the last one, PMO office. You asked me about a PMO office. Uh, main purpose of PMO, how can a PMO effectively work to support project manager and team? As I explained, this one also uh, not inside my slide, so I'll give you the answer. So PMO, what PMO office do? We do this, do these three things. They standardize work, they standardize work, standardize uh, procedure policies. They determine the tools and supporting materials because functional manager is inside the PMO. Okay, they determine what is the resources that you want, they need, so tools, material, um, Perform audits. Uh, this one perform audits so that make sure you comply with the standard practice. Okay, so PMO office, what they do, they standardize. Standardize what? Standardize procedure and policy. Second one, they determine the resources that needed. Resources here is tools and material that needed for the project. The third one, they do audit. So they, they need to do enforcement, uh, comply with the standard. Okay, actual rules varies and uh, it can be supportive, directive and controlling. Okay, so 
important is the three dots here. Again, it's changed from one organization to another organization. Okay, next week what we do, we'll do scheduling. Uh, you will we'll draw a lot of drawing. Uh, next lecture. Okay. Okay, uh, see you next week.